Microsoft recently released a solution that brings enhanced security features to the local built-in administrative accounts on Windows devices managed by Intune and it's called LAPS, Windows Local Administrative Password Solution for Intune. In this video, we'll be diving into the details of this solution and how it can revolutionize the way you manage and look at the local administrative accounts on your machines managed by Intune. All right, let's jump into it. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to endpoint.microsoft.com. Then we'll select endpoint security and then account protection. Next, we'll select create policy. Under platform, we'll select Windows 10 and later. And under profile, we'll select local admin password solution, Windows Labs and click create. Then we'll give it a name. For this example, I'll be using Laps for Windows devices. You can also give it a description if you like to and click next. So the first setting we have is backup directory. This configures which directory the local admin password is back up to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select backup the password to Azure AD only. The next option we have is password age days. This policy configures the maximum password age of the local admin account. The default is 30 days, but you can configure it to anything between 1 and 365. So for this example, I'll leave it on the default for 30 days. The next option is administrator account name. Use the setting to configure the name of the Manage Local Admin account. Please note, if you do decide to choose a custom name, you would need to add or create the local account manually on the endpoint as LAPS does not create the account for you. So for this example, I will not be creating a custom local administrator account, so I'm going to leave the settings as not configured. So the next setting we have is password complexity. Password complexity refers to the password minimum requirement settings and can be set between uppercasing, lowercasing, numerical values or special characters. The default setting includes everything mentioned. Then the password length can be set to anything between 8 and 64 characters. For this example, I'll leave it as 8. Post authentication actions refers to the actions that should be taken upon the expiration of the configured grace period. In this case, I'll be choosing reset the password and log off the managed account upon expiry of the grace period. Post authentication reset delay. Use the setting to specify the amount of time to wait after an authentication request before executing the specified post authentication actions. You can set the post authentication reset delay to anything between 0 and 24 hours. I'll be leaving it as the default which is 24 hours. Once you've configured all your settings, go ahead and click next. I won't be adding this policy to any scope tags, so I'll click next. Then under assignments, I'll select all devices and click next. Then you can review your settings that you've configured to ensure that you've configured the appropriate settings for your environment. And once you confirm everything, click create. And that's it. 